All right, welcome back, everybody, and oh hey, any new subscribers? Uh, a few things we did to this. They're in the video. Uh, chopped out these uh, fenders. Made this a little bigger opening in here so these wires weren't rubbing up against there. And put some duct tape in the front tires. I was too lazy and I didn't do the back ones, but it's all in the video. All right. Well, let's get started on this so we can get over with so you guys can get on with your day. All right. All right. If you notice in this video right here. Yep, see how them tires turn into pizzas? Well, these turn into pizzas real quick. Watch this. Now watch this one. I duct taped it. So we're going to duct tape this one. So these things don't turn into pizzas. Alright. So let's pull this wheel off and uh, show you how I did it. Alright. If you ain't got a drill, you ain't going to want to do this. <laughs> You gotta take all these damn screws out. Then you gotta flip it over. You gotta take all these damn screws out. So let me get these damn screws out. Alright, after you get all the screws out, pop these rings off. They just fit right in there. Pop this ring off. And you can take the tire off. Oh, the other one came off a hell of a lot easier. All right, you get the rim out, and you take the foam out. Oh, rocks. That stinks in there. Oh, my God. All right, and what you're going to do is you're going to take this and turn the tire inside out. There. And so you going to get the tire inside out. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some rubbing alcohol and clean all this rubber off. Now let me go take care of that. Just wipe that shit off. Just regular rubbing alcohol. And when you get that all cleaned off, You're going to push it in like that. See how it makes a nice little flat spot? And that's where you're going to start laying your tape. And you're just going to keep moving it like that. So your tape ends up in a nice flat spot. Because if you try to do it like this, your stuff's going to be all messed up. So you got to bow it down in there. And it shapes perfectly. And it is the exact same size as this duct tape. Okay. Both the same. Alright. Alright. Got it in there. I turned it back inside out and then press it down in there because it'll bubble up on you. And I put a little heat on it. So it's all down in there. And you just gotta put the foam back in. Take the foam, fold it in half. Shove that stuff right back in there. Alright, foam's all back in there. And I can put the rim back in there. And you gotta line these little things up so they go inside these little things here so once you get it in there it's gonna be a pain in the ass to turn this so i just stuck some pliers in there and then once the tires on there i can turn this to wherever i got it to line up these uh little whatever the hell they are all right so let's get this back together yeah like i said to get these holes to line up and these little things i just stuck these in there and then I can turn the rim inside the uh, wheel, line it up, so it goes back together the way it was. All right, let me put the screws back in this. All right, I'm back together. Damn, I love leaving that radio on. Just be careful with these screws, they strip out real easy. If you do strip it out, just put a little super glue on it and stick it back in there, it'll be fine. All right, so both these are duct taped. So both these should not be blowing up anymore. The back ones didn't do it too bad, but these front ones, boy, they look like 
freaking pizzas on the front here. Expanding so much. Alright. Alright. You can see I did a little trimming. What was happening, these were pizza and turning it into pizzas, and then they were catching this and doing that, making all that noise. And these were doing the same thing, but not quite as bad. And that in turn was kicking up this and it was ripping that. So it ripped it on the other side too. So I just cut that shit out. I cut the front out too. So now I got lots of room. Lots of room. I also jacked the shocks up a little more so I didn't bottom out so much. We'll strap a battery in it and try it again. See if we can get rid of this pizza cutter shit. Oh, also we had a little drama about this 750. This works perfectly fine in here. I just don't want to buy a bunch more 4S's. <laughs> and I like the way the power and everything came on with the 1200 compared to the 750. That's the reason I switch. If you want to run 8S with this bad boy, feel free. That's just, it's just my personal preference. This is not for everybody. I know how this one ran with the 750 in it and i know how the other one ran with the 1200 in it and i like the way the other one ran with the 1200 in it compared to the 750 in this one so because otherwise this thing was heading out the door the only thing it saved its ass was that 1200 and that seemed to work out just fine so i'm happy with that so we're gonna keep this a little longer so like i said milled out all these so they don't rub anymore put some duct tape in these so hopefully they don't pizza up like they did I probably should do the back. That's a lot of work. But yeah, probably should do the back. If you're gonna do it, do it right. But definitely the front pizza. These didn't do it bad, but these you can see in the video. I slowed it down so you could see it. And it's just like big old pizzas on there. All right, so we'll keep moving on. All right, everything seems to be working. Got the GPS rock in here. Got the front tape, the tires duct taped. Got the GoPro on. I turned the radio down to 100%, so let's see how fast it goes at 100%. Little Bernie there. I'll probably take some of that steering now. Huh? What you got? hitting that plastic anymore. All right, let's get one more full run. All she got. We are running uh, two 3S's instead of one 6S because they kind of overheated that one 6S. Whoa. Let's see what we got. Fifty-seven. You guys get that fifty-seven right there. I can't tell if you're getting it. It says fifty-seven. Trust me. All right. We we'll drive it in the dirt. Oh, I forgot to look and see if them tires ballooned. Let me try that real quick. Or I lose it. I need a little more steering than that. There we go. That duct tape in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Talked all that shit, and then it started acting up. Oh man, I lost the tire. What the fiddles? 
You're never gonna find that nut. I'm tired. Hell no. Hard runs, check the batteries. Batteries are getting weak. If we get that tray open, see how hot these batteries are. You should be all right. Just when you crank it to 120. See if we can get it turned off. Back to the house. 